Hey guys, Black Christian here, back with another XMOS Drifting 101. Today I'll be talking about all wheel drive and suspension tuning. So, a huge question I get a lot is do you really need suspension or all wheel drive for drifting? For the first question, suspension, you really, you really do not need like upgrade suspension for drifting, but all wheel drive is a must. It is a necessity for radio controlled drifting for RC cars. Now, you need all wheel drive because yeah, if you understand rally car racing or just physics in general, the power to weight ratio of an X mod is way too high, or well, I think way too low, for um, rear rear wheel drifting to even be possible, because it's the tires will spin out. If you notice, like a lot of people actually notice, you keep doing donuts because the rear wheels they get so much power to the rear wheels, and there's. A motor sitting on the rear that like the weight transfer and the weight balance of the car is absolutely terrible you can't really drift a rear wheel drive car without like spinning out so what you need is all-wheel drive and it's a complete necessity for traction it's just to get all four wheels spinning and if you you know watch rally car racing the four-wheel drive drift or when you see like Lancers and stuff drift or play even like Gran Turismo or Forza and you start drifting and you have four wheel drive, it has just way more traction and the same concept kind of applies to X mods. It's just that X mods are on a way smaller scale and that, you know, if an X mod had real power in real life, it would have like way over a thousand horsepower. It would just be absolutely ridiculous how powerful a car would be. And so that's why all wheel drive is a complete necessity. Um, so if you were trying to get into X mod drifting, don't go asking other people on videos, hey, do I need all wheel drive? Because I see that like all the time. They always say, is it two wheel drive or all wheel drive? Yet you can see all four wheels spinning whenever like, you do the throttle and everything. It's like, come on, man. <laughs> you can, you can kind of see that it's all wheel drive. And um, I even put in the description all wheel drive or like what specs are on my cars. So all wheel drive is a huge necessity and part of drifting and you definitely need it. Now suspension on the other hand, I got a couple of questions about that from some guys. And... Um, they said should I use you know blue springs or red springs or whatever color came with the X mods kit and I just said whatever works best for you and I say that because when I first started drifting I didn't even know what a setup was or what was the best thing to get you know like the best feel out of stuff I just sort of did it all I did was put all-wheel drive on a gen 1 Supra and just start drifting in my kitchen because it was like the first time I figured it out I put tape on my tires and I was like the coolest thing I'd ever seen. So, you mean for suspension, it's kind of negligible. It's one of those things where it really doesn't matter. It it's like helps for grip racing for sure. When you actually put normal road tires on and go on like an RCP track and you actually race, I think suspension definitely matters. But for drifting, um, since there is real, there is like no real suspension action for the car to actually like you know, lean left and right, because it's just sliding constantly, and the cars are so small, and, like, the suspension really doesn't matter. I mean, even if the car isn't lowered, when cars are stock, I used to drift stock Evos without these, like, lowering springs and everything. I pretty much made them lower to make them look cooler. That's about it. Uh, you don't really need them just to make them, like, drift better or, you know, get any extra performance or something. It's mostly just for looks. <laughs> So, I hope that clears up a lot of questions about XMOS drifting and if you need all-wheel drive and suspension. But I mean, if you do want to tune suspension and everything, um, you can start, you know, switching out your springs. I'll, I I really prefer soft springs. I don't know why, but I, for some reason, I just never really liked so the stiff blue springs. I always liked yellow and red, even um, stock. These are just the stock ones on this car that so I didn't have anymore. Um, the upgraded ones, but I mean, it's it's seriously just personal preference, and if you keep, and if you just practice with whatever setup that you have, then you you'll just be good at it, you know. Um, one more thing is camber, and camber, I mean, it it sort of matters, but once you're a beginner and you start drifting, you get a feel for whatever you know you're using. If you notice these Evo cars, like all my Evo cars have no camber. This Gen 1 that I built here has camber because I kind of like did a custom like little sh cut out <laughs> cut out the chassis with a hobby knife, put a little plastic there, and it 
if you can kind of tell that it makes the uh, wheels slanted in and as you I think you've seen in a video before um the rear wheels are just slanted because of the X, the Xmos International strut bar. I mean, you can also put a little bit of plastic underneath this little spring or underneath the arms, the rear arms, suspension arms to actually make them have camber as well. But I mean, camber I also make it just for looks. It just makes my Subaru and the Lancer because this is the chassis that they sit on just makes them look way cooler um, for drifting. Uh, it, it, it helps, but you know, <laughs> again, if you just practice with whatever you're using, you just become good at it, and you know, it really doesn't matter in the end. So I hope this was informative enough to tell you guys that you know, all-wheel drive and suspension, you know, which which ones are more important than the other. All-wheel drive, of course, you definitely need it for X mods drifting. Suspension, it's more like, eh, do you, do you really need suspension? No, not really. If you had to get an X mod or even a Mini Z, like I had a Mini Z, I was drifting at stock for the longest time. Like you don't, you don't even need suspension. So hope that clears up a lot of misconceptions. Oh, you need this for a drifting setup to make it perfect. No, you just need some drift tires, all wheel drive, you're good to go. <laughs> so hope that helps and I'll see you guys next time.